Right, aha, I think we're back in action. I think so, I hope so. So apologies, I was streaming on Facebook and didn't get into YouTube, but I think now I am back in on YouTube. Oh dear, am I back in on YouTube? Am I anywhere? It's the ghosts of Halloween are coming in to haunt me. Alea Velasquez, hola, yes, great. I'm back in, good. Hello, sir. Hi. Well, you're the first you are and you aren't because <laughs> because of the um, the ghosts and the spirits had taken my live stream and they put it into Facebook. Yes, and I was on Facebook for the last 15 minutes and the ghosts and spirits came in and told me and they said, you better get on YouTube. Um, so I'm now back in on YouTube. Great. So we can carry on with this great, lovely <laughs> streaming of Halloween. Happy Halloween, Olosa. Um, a liar. I hope my family can experience Halloween. I think a little bit. Yes. Ready to hear from you. Great. And the Facebook guys are back in as well. Great. Thank you very much for being so patient. So... Well, welcome to Halloween. It's a very, very interesting festival. I was just explaining to the guys um, in Facebook where it comes from, and I'll do a very quick recap, right? So Halloween comes from the Celtic tradition. That's the kind of the Irish and the Scottish. Um, also some in Spain and France, but the Celtic race, right, thousands of years ago, 2,000 years ago, um, had a festival right? And it was a festival that was called Shaim, Shahim. I'll get the pronunciation right, bear with me. <laughs> yes, Samhain, Samhain. And let me write that down for you, because that might help you remember. Samhain. Wait a moment. Now, okay, I'm going to take one of your, is there any specific, oh, no, that's a grammar question. I'll come back to that in a moment. Happy Halloween. Oh, great. So far, you're great to hear from you. Great to see you here. Sam Hain. I'm going to use your message box. So far, yeah. Sam Hain is the name of the Celtic festival thousands of years ago that they celebrated, right? And what it was, it was to mark the end of the summer festival. And it marked the end of summer and the beginning of the new year. And it was like their, their new year, if you like, the start of winter. And the Celts believed that this line between the old year and the new year, the line between this world, the real world, and the spirit world became a bit blurry. And some of the ghosts and spirits would come from the other world into this world and you know, that could be good or bad. I mean, if you've got spirits and ghosts coming into this world, depends if they're good or bad spirits. But that was the night, October the 31st was the night that they would come from the other world into this world and begin to haunt people, Ooh, playing tricks on people, right? And so the Celts believed that it was very important, right, to, well, to protect to respect the ghosts, but to protect yourself from the ghosts, right? Um, and although the ghosts would cause trouble, like destroying the crops maybe and playing tricks, the, the Celts thought that the presence of the ghosts made it easier for the priests to predict the future. Yeah, like I helped part three. So predicting the future, predicting the future was really important for them to see if they could see what the weather is like, could they plant the right crops and have a good harvest in the coming year. But then, 1850, dun, 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 there was a disaster in some countries, particularly, well, Ireland, I remember. 1850, there was the Great Potato Famine. All the crops were destroyed. Millions of Irish died and millions fled to America. Bum, 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 bum. So they went over to America and what did they do in America? They brought their music, their traditions, and their festivals. And the Americans thought, oh, this is interesting. What an interesting festival. Let's use it and celebrate it. And in good old 
American style, it became very commercial and it was a big celebration, not a small one. So people would dress up. So this is what um, in America is, is now happening and much more so now in England and some countries in Europe. Um, people dress up like the spirits and the ghosts, right? They'll dress up as a witch, a wizard or a warlock uh, to to look like the spirits and the ghosts and then play tricks on people. And we'll do things like that, right? So let me share with you. I'm going to try and share some of these words in a moment so that you can help remember them. Um, and you'll probably know the pumpkin, we would make a special kind of thing like this. It's called a jack-o'-lantern. We would make a jack-o'-lantern to scare away the ghosts, right? And I'll tell you the story of Jack. There's a real person called Jack um, and what they did with that. So we had those at that time. So this, right, was the time where people, oh, you can see me, would dress up as ghosts, as wizards, or warlocks, or even warlocks, even, get it with a K, <laughs> and witches. Let's make this bigger. Dress up as ghosts, wizards, warlocks, and witches, right? And play tricks on people. And we would go around and play tricks on people. Um, and that is where we got this celebration called Trick or Treat. Now, I'm sure some of you know about Trick or Treat. Can you tell me what Trick or Treat is? Let's see where you are. I'll catch up on the comments. Which ghost outfit do I like, says KK. KK, I'm going to show you my ghost outfit in a moment. <clears throat> my green screen is back, I know. <laughs> I've not decorated my house. It's a green screen. Witches, says Shakun. Yeah, witches are the females. Play a trick or give sweets, says Navneed. That's absolutely right. You're spot on with that one. You play tricks or you give sweets. So... People would go, the children go from house to house and ask for candies. You're right. Ha says the children say it to get candies. Yeah. Truk, you play a trick or give candy. So either you give candy or if not, the kids play a trick on you. <laughs> right. Debbie's got a nice expression. Go from door to door on Halloween asking for sweets with the exclamation trick or treat trick or treat and you give candy right basically give me candy or i'll play a trick on you and what are the tricks that people play well people play all all kinds of tricks they will wrap up your car or your bicycle uh, in toilet paper they will throw eggs on your front door <laughs> they, they will do crazy things so it's always a good idea right when you've got your jack of lantern make sure that you've got some sweets inside right because you need to make sure like Ferrero Rocher I love Ferrero Rocher make sure you've got some sweets to give because otherwise you're going to be in big trouble when those children come with their eggs and start throwing them at you <laughs> so would you like some candy here, let me um, let me bring you back to my. Have a put your go on. Have a have a go and get some candy. You're thinking it's half empty. I know it's half empty. It's because we're so late in the day. I mean, already people have been coming and stealing my sweets, <laughs> stealing, taking my sweets for for Halloween. Great. Oh, Costia, just finished the main parts of IELTS and you're waiting for the speaking, and you've come to the party. What a great guy fantastic brilliant very nice i'm very impressed that you're here wow i need so many candy says facebook <laughs> i know that's the great thing about halloween that's what the children like they like to get the uh, the candy and all of that stuff right absolutely so 
there we go. I'm back here. Let me just take me off for a moment. And let me just take that off for a moment. So trick or treat, right? People dress up, we said. Ah, right. So somebody asked, somebody asked, what, what is my favorite costume? Would you like to see? Right. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to show you my favorite costume. I don't have many, but I am going to show you what I think is my favorite costume. And it's this one. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. It's Marcel Masso. He does the mine, but it's the mine. And it's a very, very strange mine, right? Because it's the mine that can come up and at any time can be very, very dangerous. Dun, dun, dun. And that is my favorite costume. I love the mine. I think it's great. It's a bit scary, <laughs> but not too scary. <laughs> Uh, Keith, you look good like Dumbledore. I would be a good Dumbledore, I think. I think I would be. <laughs> I like your nails. Yeah, my nails are groovy, aren't they? I had them specially done for Halloween, right? I like to, you know, get my nails done for Halloween. It's really, really good. <laughs> Shagun, Stan the Man's favourite costume. Well, he's unfortunately not able to come today, but I think he's a big fan of, you know, um, warlocks and wizards. So a bit like Dumbledore. <laughs> yes. Sandy, we don't know what is Halloween. It's that celebration of... It's the celebration of the dead, basically. Ooh. The, the, when the celebration of dead people and ghosts. Um, and it's good and bad. And I've just noticed... Wait a minute. Before the ghosts come, right? Better plug in my my computer otherwise it'll, it'll disappear and then i can blame the ghosts um ghosts are good and bad some of them play tricks on us um but i think by and large we try to celebrate the ghosts respect but protect from them right absolutely now there's something i'm going to share with you called the jack of lanterns jack of lanterns right now then let me show you this over here jack of lanterns which some of you i'm sure you know artistic baking and cooking good luck with your speaking test you say you're about to go oh look at this question shakun do you believe in ghosts um right that's a very very good question right shakun do i believe in ghosts well no <clears throat> until i was 10 years old and I had a very strange experience when I was 10 years old. Um, we were living, well, actually, I, I was living in Manchester at the time, right? And at that time, I was staying at my auntie's house. And I can't remember why, but I was at my auntie's house. And at night time, it was in the winter, so it was getting darker earlier and earlier. And me and my cousin were outside, right? And we were playing hide and seek. Now, they have quite a big garden. The sun was setting. Dusk was here. It was getting darker and darker. And we could hear Auntie say, Chris and Keith, time to come back in. Right, time to come back in for dinner. It's getting dark. But we wanted to carry on playing. Big mistake. We carried on playing, hiding in the trees, looking for each other, right? And it was my turn to seek to look for my cousins. There were three of us. And I went out there and I was looking for them. And I saw my cousin Chris behind a tree. And I thought, right, I'm going to run back and you have to touch the stone to say, I found you. And I saw, and I saw Chris there, right? His shadow, his shape, it was him behind the tree. I ran back, hit the stone. And as I said, I found you. Chris was already there at the stone. And yet he was behind me behind the tree. And I thought, hang on, if you're here, who is behind the tree? And from that day on, I've started to believe that maybe 
just maybe there are ghosts around here. Mmm, spooky story, right? Spooky. Speaking of spooky, that's a great question. There's And there's some great language there, right? If you ever need to talk about an interesting film, you could talk about a spooky film, right? Or spooky or a horror film. If you like horror films, I don't know if you do. Scary as well, you can say spooky, horror, horrific. Horrific is the actual um, adjective. Terrifying. All of these words, right? Spooky, horrific, terrifying words. Rajan, really, true story. Absolutely true story. <laughs> I'm becoming scary. This is Priyanka. It is the Halloween edition. Absolutely. It means there's going to be a few scary things happening. <clears throat> Let's come back to the Jack of Lanterns. <clears throat> Can ghosts be dangerous for us? Ali, I think most ghosts are good, but some of them play tricks on us. Not dangerous, but they can play tricks. Mm. <laughs> right. Jack of Lanterns. So I was talking about that, right? Those are Jack of Lanterns. Jack of Lanterns, where is he? Is is up here. Now, Jack of Lanterns is basically what you've just seen. It's all of these. It's you take a pumpkin, a real one, not a plastic one, and you carve out the pumpkin, and then you put the, the lump, the lump, the lamp or the light or the candle inside. <clears throat> and then that helps protect you from the ghosts. <clears throat> but where does it come from? What's the story, right? What's the story? Petrifying, Victoria, that's a great word, petrifying. Let's put that one in as well. What's the story of Jack of Lanterns? I'm going to tell you. Now, I don't know it by heart. I know I should, but I don't. But let me get you the story of Jack of Lanterns. And then we'll come back to this. History of trick-or-treating Halloween movies. We'll tell you about Halloween movies in a moment. Oh, this is interesting. Lots of interesting stuff. I can't find Jack. Come on, Jack. Where is he? Halloween comes to America. Trick or treat, of course. Playing pranks. Oh, playing a trick or playing a prank. Let's add that one. Playing tricks. Playing pranks. Nice vocabulary. Playing tricks. Right, come on. Where is Jack? He's disappeared. Oh, he's not here. Oh, come on. Right, bear with me. Bear with me. Ah, it's the Irish, yes, the Irish myth of Stingy Jack. <laughs> Let's write this down. It's the Irish myth. So if it's a myth, is it true or is it not true, right? A myth is a made-up story. It's not true. Made-up story of Stingy Jack. Do you know what stingy means? Stingy? Any ideas? Stingy just means mean, not generous. Stingy Jack. Mean and not very generous, right? So, <clears throat> what's the story here? The legend of Stingy Jack. So it comes from the story. According to the story, right? Stingy Jack. Let me make this quite scary. <laughs> According to the story, Stingy Jack invited the devil to have a drink with him. And true to his name, Stingy Jack didn't want to pay for his drink because he's not generous, doesn't like paying money. So he convinced the devil 
to turn himself into a coin that Jack could use to buy their drinks. And once the devil did so, Jack decided to keep the money, put it in his pocket next to a silver cross. Which, a silver cross, right? The cross which will prevent the devil from turning back into the devil. He has to stay like a coin. Um, right, and Jack eventually freed the devil, saying that under one condition, saying that you must not bother me or annoy me for the next year. And if Jack would die, he would claim his soul. <laughs> next year, Jack, again, this is a long story, but Jack tricked the devil into climbing into a tree to pick a piece of fruit. And while he was up in the tree, Jack carved a sign of the cross, sign of the cross into the tree. So the devil was stuck up the tree and couldn't come down. And this time, Jack said, you must promise not to come and bother me for 10 years. Right. <clears throat> Now, the rumour has it, I mean, what a nasty person Jack is, he's worse than the devil. Soon after Jack dies, as the legend goes, he tried to get into heaven. And God said, you're a bad person, you're not coming into heaven. <laughs> and the devil, who was so upset with him, said, you're not coming into hell. So Jack had to go where? Well, he would walk into the dark night with his lantern. He had a lantern, right? And he would just end up walking on the earth in the dark night forever and ever. Wow. He only had a burning coal to light his way. And so he used the lantern to get around and he's still here on the earth, stingy Jack with his lantern. And we can see him on Halloween day. That's the legend, Stinky Jack, Jack of Lanterns. It's a myth, right? Which means it's made up, it's not true. Or we sometimes call it a legend. The legend of Stinky Jack. Why is he stinky? <laughs> stinky means smelly. <laughs> I don't know. He needed a shower, maybe. <clears throat> so there you've got it. Now, talking about films, right? Horror films. I wonder what horror films if any you guys have watched have you guys been to any um horror movies there's some famous ones we have at halloween but which ones do you guys watch if any <laughs> why use a pumpkin i don't know well be because it's a it's a seasonal fruit october pumpkins are in season it's the most common fruit there's the song, says Queen Marianne. Thriller, yeah, with the zombies, right? That was way before its time. That was so good. <clears throat> Can I recommend a best uh, horror movie? Ooh, I hate them. <laughs> I do. I don't like horror movies. I really don't. Anybody? We've got Hitch or oh, Psycho, right? Psycho from um, Thingamajig, from Albert Hitchcock. Is it Albert Hitchcock? Yes. I watched Elena's Ghost on Delimundo. Right, I've not seen that. Me, it's not La Quinda, you're just like me. It's not my cup of tea. I'm not into horror movies so much. Shakun, yes, she says, I know you said you love them, right? They make me sit on the edge of the seat. Some of them are conjuring. Annabelle. Right. <gasps> the Nun. The Grudge. Oh, my God. I saw The Grudge. One of the most common ones is Friday the 13th. Very, very common. Conjuring 2, if you like, the sequel. <laughs> Ida says, Dr. Sleep. Last night I watched his house. Yeah, great. I tell you, one of the most frightening films I've seen, right? And it's not frightening as in blood and that kind of horror film but it was uh frightening is the night of the living dead right have you heard of that and it's about well the night when the dead come to life and they start attacking people but the old film the 1960s film 
the night of the living dead and it's a bit scary right it's a bit scary but it's the very very end of the film that scared me and if you haven't seen it you have to go and see what happens at the very very end of the film but that is quite spooky quite quite scary brilliant any others yep yeah, here's a very common one nightmare on elm street that's quite an old one but yes it's still around Halloween Town. There's lots of these, right? Scary, scary. I've never worked out why people like horror films. <laughs> Pet Exorcist, great peace seeker. So how you likes Pet Cemetery. Bit more like of a zombie movie, yeah. Ida says Dracula. Of course, the old Dracula films. Even the, the new Dracula films are actually quite good as well. Absolutely. Great. Brilliant. Good. Ooh, now then. What could we talk about next? We've talked a bit about the traditions and the decorations. Um, talked a bit about the food. Well, a little bit about the food. So we make, right, um, pumpkin because pumpkin is in season. So it's readily available and fresh here, at least, um, at this time of the year. Sorry, I'm speaking too quickly. I know. <laughs> um and so we take the pumpkins. Let's go back to pumpkins, the original pumpkins. And there's lots of things. So pumpkin soup is the big one. And um, pumpkin pie. Those are two big, big things that we have. Let me go and show you over here. Pumpkin soup, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin soup. It's one we have in our house quite a lot. And pumpkin pie. And these are absolutely delicious because they have the flavour of pumpkin, but you also put in um, lots of different spices and they are very, very, very nice. Let me see if I can get some pictures for you. Bear with me. Well, yeah. let's see. <laughs> look <laughs> what happens when I get when I try and look for um Halloween food I end up getting all of this stuff which is food trying to look scary right you get things like the the cakes that try and look a bit scary look at that you get all sorts of scary things so we make lots of cakes and pies but try and make them look scary like with ghosts or eyes look at that those look like real eyes. And I've no idea what looked like that, the zombie's hand. I've no idea what this food is. But you try and make it look scary like ghosts over here. Like spiders over here. Or the teeth. Look at that. The Dracula's teeth. But, whoa, look at those. Most of it is just sweet rubbish but lots of fun lots of fun so typically we will take lots of kind of regular sweets and desserts and put them into scary shapes look at those hamburgers Whoa! they look like little minions you take some fresh vegetable and make it into pumpkin faces or ghost faces those are nice roasted veggies you can have a r.i.p rest in peace pie your pie is like a gravestone wow bizarre i'm making you hungry yeah i'm not surprised so that's, um pratishka halloween is celebrated for just for one night actually tonight so it's a, a one night celebration only one night but let's go let's have a look for halloween pumpkin pie let's get that one that one would be better and i can show you actually some real food. So pumpkin pie. Yeah, some people make them small like this and still you can put ghosts on. But your basic pumpkin pie, <clears throat> it's, obviously it's brown. It's got lots of cinnamon in it <clears throat> and 
or you can put different shapes you can decorate it as you like you can put cream on top you can make it small but your basic right your basic pie looks like this the farmer's almanac this recipe won a blue ribbon wow look at that it looks fantastic right it looks absolutely delicious and what do you have in it well let me show you what you put inside obviously you put in a pumpkin da, da, da. you put in one cup of sugar flour salt ground ginger lots of ginger cinnamon cinnamon nutmeg pepper cloves all these kind of really rich spices mashed pumpkin a bit of cream or milk and bobs your ankle and that's it and you get boots no you don't get boots oh there's pastry of course you need to make the pastry and then you get your delicious that's the one there your delicious pumpkin pie wow guys i'm getting hungry getting hungry already right <clears throat> so we've talked about food what else can we talk about oh i'm back again i'm back the mime is one of the most scary because you don't know what's happening or what they're doing but the mime is back to ask you what can we look at next because i'm so hungry <laughs> Oh, great. I love it. We can even. Ooh. Hello. Hello. What's happening now? Oh. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> Scary. I'm scaring myself here. Seriously, turn off the music. I'm scaring myself. That is so, so scary. <laughs> uh dear. <clears throat> right. So here I am again. Time for a drink. I'm so thirsty. <sighs> pure blood. Yes, we must drink pure blood on Halloween. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> it's the voice that is scary. I know. Hello. So I've had nobody trick-or-treating yet. I wonder if we'll get any trick-or-treats today. Maybe. Maybe in the near future. Of course, Halloween, we always have our traditional Halloween jokes, right? Halloween jokes. Come on, I'll tell you a couple of really, really bad Halloween jokes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what do birds say on Halloween? Oh, hello. Somebody's knocking on the door. Come in. Whoa! <laughs> what is that? Who are you? Help! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Please don't take them all. Oh my god. Ah, help. Run away. Run away. Oh. Holy moly. Holy moly. What just happened? That was a bit scary. Dear oh dear. Talk about trick or treat being really scary <laughs> well you can probably guess who that was yes it was the famous vampire neighbor though no, famous vampire daughter dear oh dear yes <laughs> i need a sweet seriously i'm gonna have a chocolate for myself just to calm myself down dear dear take some more she only took one right <gasps> she might come back oh no I'm going to get her with my hand if she comes back. <laughs> Here, no, really. How a sweet. It's my daughter. 
<laughs> my granddaughter. <laughs> well, it could be, yeah. I am, I am only 72. No, it's my daughter. I'm not 72. <clears throat> my daughter, she's 13. She's a bit old for Halloween, but still very good disguise. <laughs> Beer three. Thanks, yummy. Good. Glad you enjoyed it. Peace seeker. She did, actually. She gave me a big fright. <laughs> Khaled. Yes, thank you. Blood later, right? Water, blood. Oh, great fun. So where was I? Where was I? <laughs> we were on jokes, weren't we? <laughs> Khaled's on a diet. Oh, dear. Ruslan, how old are you? How old are you? How old am I? Oh, I'm 53. 53. I'm married late. My favourite food, right, I'll tell you, is pumpkin pie. But I'm a big, big fan of this sweets, these sweets, these chocolate sweets, right? These are Ferrero Rocher. I love Ferrero Rocher because they've got chocolate and um, what's it called? Oh, I forgot the name. It's called, look, over here, it's called Nutella. It's got chocolate and Nutella. It's creamy but crunchy. So I love the textures. This is like an IELTS part one question. What's your favourite cake or sweet? <laughs> My favourite sweet. I'm a big fan of Ferrero Rocher because it's got chocolate and Nutella. And it's creamy and crunchy. And the textures just melt in your mouth. They are absolutely just delicious. <laughs> IELTS part one. I forgot that we're studying for IELTS. <laughs> uh, great. Vina, no, she didn't do the painting. No. Great. Thank you, Shivani. That's so nice. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, <clears throat> what language? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Nutella and almonds, that's the one. It has Nutella and almonds. Thank you, Te Medicado. That's great. Yes, brilliant. If you want to remember that for your um <clears throat> for your IELTS part one, sweets and desserts. I'm a big fan of da da da. Yep, it's got chocolate. Chocolate and almonds. It's got chocolate and almonds. Dun, dun, dun. So it's creamy and crunchy. And the textures just melt in your mouth. How cool is that? It's delicious. <laughs> Great. There you go. A bit of IELTS for you. That's nice. Komal, I'm from England, Komal. It's a good question, right? I'm British. I'm from England, but I live in Spain and I've been here for three years now. Um, so I do speak Spanish as well as English, but I'm British and, you know, born and bred in England. It's hazelnut, says Mikon. Ah, it's hazelnut, is it? It's a hazelnut paste. I can see all the Ferrero Rocher experts are here. <laughs> it's mouth-watering. That's a great one as well. Let's put that here. It's, it's absolutely mouth-watering. Absolutely mouth-watering. That's a nice one to add. And put the stress. It's absolutely mouth-watering. Brilliant. Love it. Tenzil, I know. I'm dying for a cup of coffee with chocolate. Yeah, me too. Dying for. I'll just help you with that. Dying for. I'm dying for. A, which is quite good, right? On Halloween. <laughs> I'm dying for a cup of coffee. Brilliant. Nice. So listen, back to that joke, right? What was that joke? The joke was, what do birds say on Halloween? What do they say? They say, trick or tweet. <laughs> trick or tweet. Because <laughs> they tweet. 
<laughs> uh, great. Let me light that down. They write trick or treat. This is great for learning English, right? Because you can see how we play with words. Instead of trick or treat, it's tweet, trick or tweet. Right? Get it? Nice one. <laughs> um, why don't skeletons ever go trick or treating? Why don't skeletons ever go for a trick or treat? Right? Do you know what a skeleton is? Let me just make sure you know what a skeleton is first. Skeleton. Um, a skeleton is. What's a skeleton? I'll show you a skeleton, not Fright Night. No, not Fright Night, but I'll do a picture of a skeleton just to make sure and then you'll understand the joke. OK, there you go. That's a skeleton. Why don't skeletons do trick or treat? Any idea? You've got it. It's the bone of your body, right? They don't. No. Why don't they do it? Why don't skeletons do trick or treat? There's an interesting answer because there's no soul in that. What a good answer. No, but good answer. <laughs> oh, Khaled, I'm pleased. That's great. Anyone? Any idea? Because then they would get alive. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad, but not quite. Yo-Yo says because they don't exist. Of, of course skeletons exist. Do they? Of course they do. <laughs> oh, that's a good answer. There's no stomach. They haven't got the stomach to do it. You're on the right lines. It's almost there. They don't have the stomach. That's great, which means they're not brave enough, right? That's a good expression. They don't have the stomach. Oh, that's great, actually. That's a really good answer. It's not the right answer, but it's a great answer. I'm going to put you on here because, and I'll just explain that, because they don't have the stomach to do it. It's a great expression, right? Two, one, oh, come on, matey. That means they are not brave enough. It's a great expression, right? I don't have the stomach to do it. Don't have the stomach to do it means I'm not brave enough. What a good answer. But the actual answer to that joke is because they have no body to go with. <laughs> they, have, they have no body as in, right? As in no body or nobody means somebody, right? They have no body to go with because they're a skeleton. <laughs> oh, great jokes, right? Great jokes. I love it. Halloween. Halloween and Christmas are great for really bad jokes. <laughs> Be a bit more serious. Come on. They're just bones. They don't have the gut. They don't have the guts. That's the other expression. Exactly. They don't have the guts. That's really good. Let's put that one in there. They don't have the guts to do it. Brilliant. Have the guts to do it. Not brave enough. Other great expressions. Excellent. Very, very, very strange. <clears throat> That is strange. How very, very strange. Well, that makes me believe in ghosts even more. <laughs> that does make me believe in ghosts because that is strange. It just all of a sudden cut out and disappeared. Mm. But listen, guys, I mean, I was about to finish, but I thought... I sent a quick message, but listen, no, I am um, I, I am going to finish up. But that was very strange. I don't know what happened. Technical glitch or 
ghosts. Mm, maybe. Who knows? Anyway, listen, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you've learned a little bit about Halloween and uh, learned a bit of vocabulary and some expressions as well and some stories you can you can tell your grandchildren when you're older. I saw lots of um, lots of interesting questions there, lots of personal questions that maybe another day I will answer. Um, you know, like, when did I get married? <laughs> Where? How? Who with? <laughs> interesting questions. I'm trick or trick or treating. Yeah. Ah, you see, I am trick or treating. Give me a sweet. I make it a Ferrero Rocher. Mouth watering. <laughs> So listen, I'm going to say goodbye to you all from the spooky Halloween with my spooky mask. It has been great fun. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you very, very soon in the near future. Next week, next Thursday, we'll have another live lesson. Um, in the meantime, take care, take care, take care. If you're celebrating have a great time. If you're not, have a great time. If you're going to bed, have a great time. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, my friends. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>